Time now for your morning RBI. And this morning, it's about work and back to the office. Because having been recently in both New York City and San Francisco, it was still striking to see just how empty nearly all the big office buildings still are. Midtown Manhattan and the financial districts of San Francisco are, for lack of a better term, ghost towns. But what about all the other big American cities? Are their workers back in the office? Well, it depends, like so much with COVID responses, on where you live. But the trend overall is actually negative. According to Castle Systems, which tracks people swiping their security cards to get into buildings, eight of 10 big cities actually saw a slight drop in occupancy overall in May. Occupancy rates in just 10 cities are 34.3%. But look at that chart. The average doesn't tell the tale because it's very different in different places. The big three of Texas, Houston, Dallas, Austin, they've got about half or more than half of their people back in an office building. Of course, we'll see if the recent COVID surge changes that. Well, look at the very bottom. New York City, San Francisco, and San Jose, California still have fewer than 25% of workers back in an office. San Francisco is actually just near one in five workers back in a building. Now, Castle does expect those numbers to rise. With the rise of new cases among the unvaccinated, back to the office may end up on the back burner. Random, but interesting.